Welcome to Cravings Control for Fat Loss. I'm your host, Laura Cavallo, former sugar binger, overeater, and yo-yo dieter turned fat loss and cravings coach for hundreds of busy women. Here at Cravings Control for Fat Loss, I'll be sharing mindset, movement, and metabolism strategies for those who are ready to ditch the fat diet cycle and slim down without counting calories, tracking points, or giving up any of the foods they love. Get ready to embrace progress over perfection, grace over guilt, and bring curiosity and learning to the inevitable ups and downs of your life. Expect a decrease in your cravings while seeing and feeling an improvement in how you look, how you feel, and your overall quality of life. I am so excited you're here, boo. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of Cravings Control for Fat Loss. My name is Laura Cavallo, your cravings coach, and today's episode is the first in a four-part series titled Satisfying Nutrition, Weight Loss Without Self-Sabotage. Today's episode will give you an outline of the three parts of satisfying nutrition and how to achieve weight loss without mindless snacking, intense cravings, and overeating. Now, I'm really excited about sharing this information because I find all too often that when women get to a stage of wanting to lose weight or ready to shed some inches and start focusing on fat loss, the cravings creep in, the hunger creeps in, and after some time, they give up. So I want to share with you my proven framework to help you stay consistent with your nutrition, still feel satisfied, still get into that calorie deficit, but reduce the amount of hunger, cravings, and episodes of overeating that you're experiencing so that this process not only is enjoyable for you, but it reaps the benefits that you want at the end of it, and you can maintain these results. So to clarify, this is going to be a four-part series sharing you the three parts of my satisfying nutrition approach. This first episode is going to give you sort of an overview of what those three steps are for weight loss without binging. So let's get into the show. Step number one, when you start on your weight loss or fat loss journey, in an effort to avoid the overeating, avoid the binging, avoid the mindless snacking, the emotional eating, we want to first stabilize hunger, right? And the reason is, is that hunger and cravings are going to happen when you're in a calorie deficit, whether you like it or not, right? But how intense those hunger and cravings are can be determined by the quality of our food, by our meal timing, by our mindset around food, how well we're fueling, and honestly, how much we understand the difference between cravings and hunger. So when it comes to this first step, our goal within this first phase is to help you attune your hunger and cravings. It's to help you understand the difference between cravings and hunger. It's to help you get more consistent with things like meal timing, to help you understand what a satisfying plate is, how to build a satisfying plate, the four parts of a satisfying plate, and within satisfying plate, what the different macronutrients are, what's a protein, what's a vegetable, what's a fruit, what's a fat, what's a carbohydrate, how does alcohol fit into a satisfying plate, how does coffee fit into a satisfying plate, how do sweet treats settle into this, right? And this first phase is really helping you, again, get more stable with that hunger so that it's more consistent throughout the day and throughout the week. It's to stabilize your cravings a bit. So obviously, we're still going to have cravings and hunger, but how intensely we feel those will become more stabilized. So this is really step one. And I will share more in-depthly this first step on the next episode, which will be part two. The second thing we need to do for achieving weight loss without overeating, cravings, and intense hunger is we need to consistently prioritize satisfying meals when we're eating out, when life gets predictable, when we're traveling, when we're stressed, okay? Now, I know that this might sound like it's just application, like, okay, like I just have to make satisfying meals when I'm traveling. Okay, that sounds easy enough, right? But you and I both know that this is easier said than done. So what we really go into in this second phase are strategies around cravings, strategies around the seasons of the year 
so that we can help you wrap your mindset around, are you actually ready for fat loss right now? Is it better for us to maintain? Moving you away from that all or nothing, good or bad mentality around food, showing you that consistent eating is not about being perfect, but rather about eating well most of the time, mostly throughout the week and throughout the month and getting you more comfortable with what I call the gray area, right? It's not eating perfectly and it's not self-sabotage. It's that weird gray area of balance, moderation, finding control within that area of imperfection. And so this is as much a mindset phase as it is an application phase. Within this phase, I'm going to teach you things like serving go craving strategies, how to ask for social support when you're traveling or eating out or stressed, right? This goes in with boundaries and self-care, teaching you that nutrition ebbs and flows just like the seasons of the year, right? There's some seasons where we're just chilling and maintaining and enjoying, right? And then there's some seasons of the year where we have more time, more focus, more reflection, more time for growth. There are seasons where we can focus a little bit more on fat loss, focus a little bit more on maintaining. So we need to get comfortable, not just in application, but mentally and emotionally being like, okay, I didn't eat perfectly today. That doesn't mean that I can't get back on track tomorrow, right? Or, you know, the summer is coming up. Maybe this isn't the best time for me to try and lose weight when I have three vacations, three kids in camps ton of events, X, Y, Z, right? So it's also getting honest with ourselves um, around those seasonal strategies to make it easier for you to be successful. Hey there, it's Laura again. I'm here to ask you if you could take 30 seconds of your time and leave us an honest review on Spotify or Apple or wherever you're listening. I'm actually gonna walk you through how to leave a review because I know some people have been confused on where to find it. If you're listening from Apple, go to the main Cravings Control for Fat Loss page. Underneath it, you'll see episodes. Scroll down past episodes and towards the bottom of the page, you'll see ratings and reviews. If you're listening from Spotify, you're going to go to the main page of the Cravings Control for Fat Loss podcast, meaning not in each episode, but on the main page. Underneath the image, you're going to see follow, a bell, and then three little dots. Click those three little dots and it'll say rate the show. Your honest feedback is going to help other people find this content and help them along. So if you could take 30 seconds of your time, it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. And then the third part to weight loss without overeating cravings, self-sabotage, is learning how to lose weight without counting, tracking, and obsessing about every single bite of food, every calorie, every macronutrient. Within this phase, we talk about things like portion control, how to manage cravings. We also share advanced calorie deficit strategies, which is what we need in order to lose fat and lose weight. I will also share things like advanced strategies with meal timing, advanced strategies with hunger and cravings, and really help you get into that calorie deficit without feeling like you have to count points like you might do in Weight Watchers or track calories like you do with calorie counting or, you know, do a meal plan like Octavia that counts out all the food for you, right? But we can't get to number three where we're able to create that calorie deficit until we've worked on number two, right? Learning how to stay consistent with our nutrition, not just from an application mindset, but from a mindset application. And we can't work on number two until we've really solidified number one, which is stabilizing hunger and cravings. So these three things have to happen in order, right? They build on top of each other. And that's what we're going to explore over the next three episodes on how to achieve this weight loss without the overeating, without the mindless snacking, without the endless cravings and the self-sabotage and the emotional eating and the occasional binges. If you're someone struggling with cravings, hunger, and overeating, and you're looking to either improve your relationship with food or start on your fat loss journey, you just heard me share that in order for you to have better results that actually last, you need to first start with balancing your hunger and your cravings. 
This is why I want to invite you to add your name to the waitlist for my new program, The Cravings Code, which launches at the end of April. In this program, you'll work exclusively with me as I guide you along week by week sharing my proven craving strategies so you can cut cravings by up to 70% in six weeks. These are the same strategies I use with my one-on-one clients that have helped them see a significant drop in their desire to overeat, their cravings for cookies, chips, and cheese, and have laid the foundation for their fat loss goals to begin. Adding your name to the waitlist doesn't guarantee you a spot in the program because I want to make sure that you're the right fit but it will give you early details to when the program will begin and an opportunity to join at a discounted rate. Follow the link below to join. And if you have any questions, find me on Instagram at laura underscore underscore cravings coach. See you soon.